Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with another Divi tip video. This one is about Divi contact forms and how to customize the subject line of the email that gets sent to you when someone fills out the form on your website. So I'm pretty excited about this little tip because I came up with it by myself after researching on the Elegant Themes forums for a fix. I found all kinds of great answers from other people and the support on the Elegant Themes forum. So if you haven't used that before and you're using Divi, you should definitely check those out for um, answers to your questions. But there's all these complicated ways to get into the code to customize the subject line of the email that gets sent to you. But I found a really quick way to, to do it that's pretty simple. Anybody could do it in a few minutes. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this short video. So if you're using Divi, you're probably familiar with these contact forms. I love these because they have a lot of functionality to them and I don't need to install a different uh, plugin like Contact Form 7 or Gravity Forms to um, do a lot of the forms that I, that I need on websites. So if you build a form with Divi like this, you probably know that you can uh, customize some things here. You can send it to an email address and then when someone submits the form, like I just did uh, on this live website, you'll get an email sent to you with a template uh, subject line and just the information from the form, which you can customize the email, but this is just the default. And then the default subject line is new message from, and then it's your site title. So a lot of people are asking in the forums, and I've always wondered how can I customize this subject line. If I have three different forms on a website, one is general contact, one might be request a quote, one might be something else. I kind of want to know uh, where that form is coming from and I could probably tell from the email by customizing the email, so that's one way. But you know, it's nice to be able to customize the subject line. You would think that this would be in there as an option, but it's just not yet. I'm sure they'll add that eventually, but it must be complicated because they haven't done it. So here's how I do it. Um, and it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is customize the title. So you can add a title to any form and it will display, um, but I'm gonna show you how to hide it. So let's just say I wanted this, the subject line of this contact form to say general contact. So this might be you know, my contact page and I just have a general form there. And when I get an email, I want it to say general contact. So I'm gonna save this title but you're probably gonna ask, you know, I don't want it to say general contact there. So there's a simple fix for that. So you go into advanced, click on custom CSS, scroll down to contact title, and we're just gonna put some simple code in there to hide it. And that is display none, it's display colon none, and then semicolon. Save that, so now that title's in there, but it's hidden, so the public, uh, you know, your viewers uh, won't be able to see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this page. And I'm gonna go back to the live site and refresh it now. And I will just submit another form as a test. So I submitted another form and you can see uh, the email that came through. Instead of saying new message from Augusta Redesign, it actually says new message from Augusta Redesign, general contact. So you're not gonna be able to add anything within or customize new message from Augusta Design, that's kind of the default, but it's just gonna tag on general contact to the end of your subject. So that's just a quick fix for you guys who are trying to figure out how to customize the subject line on your Divi forms. Go ahead and check out some of my other tips in Divi. If you have questions, uh, little things you wanna figure out or videos you'd like me to do for Divi, go ahead and comment and uh, I'll put those on my video list. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.